Hi, everyone. We are joined with John Tavares, captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs. And John is the perfect person to talk about driving electric vehicles. Not only does he currently drive um, a FAF Porsche Taycan, but previously he's also had other electric vehicles. So, John, we just wanted to get your thoughts and first impressions of not only the Porsche Taycan, but just driving EV in general and what it's really like. Um, so I'll start with that. Tell us about your decision to start driving an electric vehicle. How did that happen and what led you to that decision? Yeah, thanks. Uh, and it's great to, to have this chat. So thanks for having me. Um, uh, at FAF, they uh, um, have been uh, really, really great to me. We've had a great uh, um, relationship and partnership since uh, since I've come uh, play in Toronto and I, I uh, after my first year kind of mentioned uh, uh, to the team about uh, seeing what they had for options, uh, something I've been kind of curious and trying out and just you know, seeing what uh, all the hype was about. I think it's obviously getting, getting a lot more popular. Uh, uh, a lot of brands, a lot of companies uh, uh, have really started uh, not just making them, but really uh, uh, making them, uh, you know, exceptional vehicles to drive. So um and uh, a lot of positives on the, the environmental standpoint, which uh, um, I thought, you know, why, why not give it a shot, see if this fits my lifestyle and, and even do something that can be uh, very positive um, uh, in the big picture. So, yeah, that's kind of how it came about. Uh, uh, I started with the Audi and, and I've had uh, I've had the Porsche this year, which has been, been tremendous. Both uh, are exceptional vehicles and, and I've enjoyed driving them. So let's talk, John, about making the switch from a gasoline powered vehicle over to electric. You mentioned your lifestyle. Was that a difficult change, or was it pretty seamless? Yeah, I uh, was interested to see how that would impact me, and and uh, you know, being a professional hockey player, having a busy schedule uh, with that, traveling a lot in and out of town, um, a young family, and and lots of other things going on in my life. I just try to be as um, efficient and maximize my time as best I can, and and even little details and, and obviously having to fill up your car with gas and have to go to the gas station, making sure you're, you're doing that in certain times of the day or busier than others and um, can be almost an inconvenience at times. Uh, it's been great to just kind of come home and just plug my car in, uh, just charge it. You don't ever have to worry about having to kind of fit that into your day. Um, you know, at times you have to be mindful of your, your mileage. And if uh, you were, you were caught out, um, you know, you know, on a low battery and making sure that uh, you have an options available. But, you know, for me in season, it's mostly just being really local and then just going to the rink and going home. So that, that problem never really kind of uh, uh, comes about for myself. So it, it fit in really, really well. I, I really enjoyed it. And it's been nice to not really have to worry or stress about that. Um, just come home, plug it in and, and know that you have a full, uh, a full charge uh, uh, starting your day the next day. So you obviously, as you mentioned, have a home charging station, which is great. Um, what's your charging style? Are you the type of guy who is like every night you're plugging it in yeah. just for that, you know, the peace of mind, just like your your phone? Or do you do you know that, OK, I'm driving this amount of kilometers, you know, there's no need to charge every yeah. night. What do you do? Yeah, I would say most of the time I'm charging it in. I like to be consistent <laughs> and just always rather be uh, extra prepared. But uh, yeah. Like I said, during the hockey season and, and during the pandemic, obviously with, with uh, kind of my restrictions and just going home into the rink, not even not even running errands really around town. At, at times I've been able to just not plug it in and just kind of just let it be and whatnot. If I got a few extra things in my hands, uh, bringing home or something. So it's just like, I'll get it later. Or I know that I, I'm still at 80, 85% and uh, <laughs> I'm just going to the rink the next day. So yeah, it's been... Uh, 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 a little bit different just because I'm not doing as much, but uh, um, I'm definitely one of those guys that just likes to be consistent. Let's make sure it's, it's fully topped up and I know I'm ready to go. For sure. That's great. And um, what makes it different? Like when we talk about driving EV, um, what makes it different for you and your perspective than driving a gasoline car? What are the major changes that you feel and have experienced firsthand? I think uh, the biggest one that probably I know I experienced and probably most people is just the sound, you know, it's just how, how quiet it can be. Um, you're not hearing the engine and, and all the other things that come with um, using a, um, you know, a gas powered vehicle. So just, just kind of the, the, the sound, the sensation of what it, what it's like to drive a, 
an electric vehicle, an EV vehicle. So um, I would just say it's just some of those nuances that you notice at the beginning, and then it kind of all becomes second nature. It's like uh, it's something you get used to pretty quickly and, and you start to really enjoy. Uh, um, very quiet, very calm, um, very peaceful in, in many ways. There's nothing like being in a Porsche Taycan and that first acceleration, you know, you put it into sport mode and it's, it's almost like something you've never experienced before. Right. And you're a professional athlete. You perform every single day at an extremely high level. So performance must be important for you, even in your car. Right. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm very simple guy, uh, when it comes to, uh, certain things, probably outside of hockey and, and vehicles is probably one of them, but driving this car, I've really come to appreciate, um, just, just like you said, the performance side of it and what an exceptional vehicle it is and, um, mm -hmm. and how it just makes that part of my life that my daily trips, uh, driving around town and going home, going to the rink, um, and, and we're, you know, going to the airport when we're traveling on the road, just, uh, what an enjoyable ride it is and, and how, how easy of a vehicle it is to drive, um, how smooth it is. I think, uh, um, you know, all the, all the options and the accessories inside are, are very straightforward, very easy to use and able to customize and personalize really well, which I like. Um, so everything is kind of just so easy to get in and out. Everything just kind of becomes second nature. And, and obviously it's uh, uh, an exceptional car to drive. It's uh, uh, a real treat. I, I've been real fortunate that uh, the team at FAF has uh, hooked me up nicely. Nice. That's what we do. Um, is there one feature in the Taycan that you would say is your favorite or that you're always using? Um, I know it's hard to pick one. Yeah, no, there's there's a lot. I, I think just the, the way the panel is kind of um, to select different options, whether it's popping the trunk, checking your charge, um, you know, changing the, your, you know, the heat or the AC um, and how it's just all kind of right there on the touch panel. And it's very straightforward, very easy to use. You kind of have the full access, you know, even to, um, you know, your maps, uh, uh, your music, all those things. And it's, it's just very straightforward. And I find for me, someone who likes every, everything just simple and, and, and not too complicated, they do a tremendous job with so much, so many options, so much, uh, uh, accessibility or different things to customize, to be able to just make it easy for you to, um, choose what you want and, and kind of, and, and be able to do it and, and just really simple. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I've enjoyed that part of it where it's kind of, you kind of got everything in your fingertips, but it, it doesn't overwhelm at the same time. We talked earlier about charging and, you know, a lot of people, when they're thinking about going EV, they have a bit of range anxiety. Um, did you ever experience that? Have you ever had to be in the situation where you're looking for a charger or, you know, sort of worried about that or has yeah, it been so, smooth sailing? Yeah. So you know, obviously getting the vehicle during the pandemic and, and during and driving it uh, mostly during the hockey season uh, where we've been pretty restricted in what we're able to do. My, my wife's gone up uh, to our cottage just for a change of scenery at times. And, and uh, there's been a few days off that I've, I've had to drive up there and it's, it takes me about a couple hours. So that was a good test uh, to, to see how it is. I have a charger up there as well. So that doesn't allow me to have to worry too much about uh, going up there. I got one installed and um, I, I was pretty amazed uh, uh, on the range on it. And I don't really get too, too concerned uh, just because since I started driving, um, uh, driving the Porsche, it, uh, uh, I was amazed at uh, just the range. And even when you're using other, other um, uh, things like your AC um, or your heat uh, and how that can drain your battery a little bit and, and the, how that can impact, impact your, your mileage. And uh, I think I, I could probably almost do uh, uh, a full round trip uh, going up there. I, I was pretty amazed. So um, with how efficient uh, uh, this car has been, I, I haven't had too much of that. I think something when you first, you know, you first drive it, you first kind of get into it, you, you kind of think about it a little bit and you're kind of aware. And then once you get to know your vehicle and, and kind of, you know, how it works, how, how, how good the mileage is on it uh, and kind of what your lifestyle is and what you're driving every day, you get a good feel of what you need and, and knowing kind of what, what, uh, what your limits are and what they aren't and how to properly plan for that. So, but overall it, it has tremendous mileage. So it's never even really been too much of a question for me. You said you're more of a simple guy. Um, when you are driving, what is your drive, driving style? Are you a little bit more laid back or do you like to experience the power behind the car? Yeah. Um, 
probably when I'm, when I'm going up North to, to see the family, um, and, and <laughs> haven't seen my boys for a few days and my wife, it's, uh, going a little quicker than, uh, probably than when I'm just kind of heading to the rink and just taking in the 20 minutes of listening to some music, maybe uh, clearing my head, making a couple phone calls that, uh, you know, you got uh, the open highway and you, 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 uh, you know, want to, I want to get there and, and catch up with them, haven't seen them. And, um, obviously have the ability and, and are allowed to go a little faster than, uh, when you're driving around town. So, um, yeah, it, what, what I also really like is just, you know, the, it's tremendous just around the city and, and I live in the high park area. So, um, it, uh, um, you know, a lot of one ways, uh, a lot of street parking. So just being able to get in and around those, those local streets and, and, uh, when, when they're really busy and whatnot. So it's kind of, kind of got a little bit of both. I'm able to, uh, enjoy both parts of that. Love that. And, and you said it was all about sort of planning and making it part of your lifestyle and that planning included, uh, putting a charger at your cottage. I love that. Yes. Um, so that take that takes away the worry. It's so, so nice. Would you say that this could fit into anybody's lifestyle who's thinking about EV and, and do you feel like you're doing something better in terms of, you know, our environment and the overall footprint that we're making? Yeah, it's nice to contribute. Uh, you know, I think, uh, it's, it's gaining a lot more steam and, um, there's, I, there's a lot of benefits and it just really fit my, my lifestyle really well, where just cut out another errand or another thing I have to do on a daily basis where I can just go come home and charge my vehicle and just take something else that I have to worry about or deal with uh, um, out of the equation. And I can just focus more time and more energy on, on other things and, and uh, um, not have to worry about something like that. That's obviously such a big part of our lives, but we almost take for granted a little bit. So um, from that standpoint, and, and yeah, it, it's nice that uh, you're able to kind of give back and, and make a contribution uh, um, in the bigger picture. Uh, so yeah, that's been, uh, been a nice kind of added bonus. Well, thank you so much. We are are so proud and happy to have you as part of the FAF family and driving a Porsche Taycan from FAF Porsche. Uh, and thank you so much for giving us your time today. And good luck in the playoffs from all of us here at FAF. Yeah, thank you. It's an uh, exciting time uh, for the team and around town and for Leafs Nation. So we're, we're fired up about that. And thank you for um, obviously having me as part of the family and, and uh, for chatting today. This was great. Thank you.